So this is going to be a kind of combined review of the keyboard that we see up top, the mouse and the mouse mat we see down the bottom. It's going to be interesting, so stick around. Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products, and also up-to-date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. So the keyboard is the Extrafy XG1-R LED UK, and obviously a very catchy name that follows suit with the rest of the products we're reviewing, but basically it's a Cherry MX Red mechanical gaming keyboard with a removable mini USB cable that's actually quite nice, braided, and fits quite well in the port at the bottom. Uh, and overall, is uh, it's actually softwareless as well as the mouse is as well. So basically means everything is controlled uh, by the hardware itself. There's no uh, utility engine you can use to light some of the keys like you can see here it's all done via holding the FN key and using the F keys for lighting and the eight keys up the top for macros two of which are toggling switches for uh, you know changing which type of macro you want now typing on it because it's a Cherry MX red keyboard is quite nice I personally prefer blues or browns but this is still a really nice experience to type on and if you are looking for a Cherry MX Red keyboard, this is certainly a decent place to look, especially if you're planning on gaming as well. These are genuine Cherry switches, uh, which is also quite nice and means that they are certainly a longevity based product. Now in terms of the mouse, this is the XG-M2-NIP, comes with a nice braided cable, a good length as well and generally feels quite solid, has a very sort of soft touch look to it, has lighting on the logo on the back as well as next to the two uh, sort of left hand side buttons. You've also got uh, many CPI settings and you've got a switch on the bottom to change the polling rate of the mouse from anywhere between 125, 500 and 1000 hertz. The mouse mat is the XTP1-L4-NIP-LI uh, and I will speak about it more later but basically it's a fairly large mouse mat, has a very nice feel to it, has a bit of squish to it which is good but is very decent for travelling and uh, here's my thoughts anyway. So Overclockers UK sent over uh, these extra five peripherals for me to take a look at and if you want to pick any of them up feel free to uh, take a look at the links or if you just want to look at pricing there's links for Overclockers in the, uh, the description down below. So let's start off with the keyboard, well let's start off with the general, all of these peripherals including the mouse mat are softwareless peripherals so that means you cannot change any of the settings including macros, lighting or uh, DPI on the mouse uh, in software, it has to all be done via the buttons uh, on the hardware you know, itself. Also things like with the mouse, the sort of side buttons, so what are normally back and forward in your web browser, those cannot be mapped uh, to anything in software. It has to be mapped in each individual game, uh, assuming that the buttons do show up in the menu. So that is uh, something to be aware of. Other than that, uh, starting off with the keyboard, generally speaking, build quality is great on all of them. This keyboard feels very sturdy and has a decent weight to it. The fact that it is has a removable uh, USB cable is really quite cool. Uh, and the general typing experience, because it's Cherry MX Reds, is very nice as well. It's not my personal favourite, I prefer blues or browns, but at the same time, you know, if you, uh, if you like Reds, or generally if you haven't tried a mechanical keyboard before, Reds will definitely be a very good start for you. Another thing to note is that because this is a softwareless keyboard, you will have a little bit of a kind of steep learning curve getting used to the lighting and the macro settings. Uh, with the macro settings, you do get timing, auto, uh, quick, and looping macros, which are really cool. And if you want to learn more, feel free to ask me in the comments, but they're basically exactly what they sound like. Uh, and other than that, uh, the lighting, there's lots of different settings as well. You can have, you know, all the lights on, breathing, a kind of a demo mode. You can put certain keys on, especially if you're gaming, that'd be quite cool. Uh, and other than that, yeah, it's, it's an interesting keyboard and there is a bit of a steep learning curve, but it's a nice experience to both game and type on. In terms of the mouse, it has a nice feel to it. It's kind of a soft touch plastic and it's almost slippery. Uh, that may just be because it's quite new and needs a bit of sort of wearing in and, you know, palm grease left on it but uh, other than that it is quite nice to use uh, the buttons on the side are quite nice to nicely position the overall feel it can be palm or claw grip or anything in between 
which is cool. And uh, yeah, in terms of the mouse mat as well, um, it's got a bit of a sort of uh, push to it, a bit of a kind of squishiness, which is really nice uh, and meant that it was a, a great experience to use. I personally don't use a mouse mat myself, so having one uh, was a lot less of a restriction than I thought it'd be. I think it's just because this one is quite big. Uh, it's a nice size. It's got a nice sort of image over the top as well, so that's quite cool. Now in terms of scoring, I'm going to score them all together here, so it's going to be a 4 for value for money. It's going to be, I think, a 5 for performance because they all perform very well in terms of what they do. Uh, and in terms of functionality, I'm going to go with a 4 because they are softwareless and personally I'd prefer uh, a bit more precision in you know, changing the DPI settings, for example, as I don't really want to have to adjust myself to what the mouse can do. I'd rather have the mouse adjust to what I'm used to. Um, but other than that, yeah, in terms of a style, I would say a 4. It's not the flashiest kind of pieces of hardware, but it certainly doesn't look bad either. And in terms of Tech 2 Media Score, it's going to be a 4 as well. It's also going to get the Gamer Approved Award because if you can't afford the big budget kind of, you know, Razer or Logitech or um, Corsair kind of branded mechanical keyboards and, and mice, this is a fantastic place, especially if you, you know, are, are going in at an entry level kind of gaming PC, but you still want a, a you know, really good experience. Uh, or, you know, when I say entry level, I don't mean, you know, 200 pounds. I mean, you know, a decent gaming PC, but not something like a 980 Ti. Um, but anyway, if you're looking for gaming peripherals, especially ones that aren't big brand, then uh, feel free to check these guys out as it is pretty awesome. So other than that, uh, thanks to Overclockers for sending them over. Uh, and other than that, yeah, check out the other videos that are on the channel. Feel free to subscribe for more awesome tech videos. I'm sure we've got a giveaway going on, or if not, then uh, feel free to ask for one in the comments down below. Um, and other than that, uh, yeah, check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Also, check the videos out on Vesso. If you want to watch these a week early, they are up there. Um, it's a free month trial if you click the link down below, so that's cool as well. And other than that, um, also, please do use my Amazon affiliate link. It keeps the floodlights on that light me, keeps the screens on that let me edit these videos, and it keeps the house uh, that covers all of my tech under, uh, keeps it, you know, from, keeps me in it. <laughs> so please do use that link as it does really help a lot. Um, other than that, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.